My, my, my. New York, New York. Big city of dreams, they used to say. Now it's big city of immigrant crime. Money from France, politics, culture, religion. What is the vision? Welcome to Random Thoughts. Ray Sean Blyden here. It, it's ridiculous the crime that's going on in New York. If all New Yorkers don't vote for Trump, then something must be wrong with you. You might you must must be glutton for punishment because this is just insane. That is what we're gonna talk about today. Because obviously obviously things are not getting any better. And so let's talk about this. Illegal alien repeat offender accused of attacking multiple women is back on the streets of the dysfunctional New York City. Unreal. Unreal. I won't go into the doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We know what you call that, right? What do you call that? Raise your hand if you know what that's called call insanity it's called insanity but I will repeat that an illegal alien repeat offender is back on New York City streets after spending less than a one year in jail for the latest in a series of arrests where he was accused of attacking female hospital workers dating back to 2019. I mean, this is just insane. You're going to tell me that you're going to continue to put people like this back on the street because why? Well, I really, really, I've already said, um, where did I say this? I don't know where I said it. Probably in my shorts that's coming up. I don't remember. But I, I've said this before. Remember how Kanye West used to say George Bush don't care about black people? Well, I'm going to revise this to Joe Biden don't care about American people, about legal American people, because this wouldn't be happening under Trump. So you know what you got to do, New York City. I don't need to spell it out for you. Simply, simple solution. The guy should not only have been deported after he committed his first crime, but he also shouldn't have been allowed into the county, the country in the first place. Of course, of course, it's common sense. It's common sense, folks. Common sense, he should have never been here. Neither one of those, those actions occurred. So let's continue. Let's continue. One, on a recent episode of Fox and Friends. I don't watch Fox anymore, so I don't know. But the co-host Todd Pirro heightened, highlighted an example of how far New York City has fallen. Do you remember the days back in of Rudy Giuliani? That's when you, New York was great. It was great to live there. He had the crime levels down. But you have this Adam, I don't even know what the, he remembers his full name, Adam, whatever his name is, he seems to be an idiot. He was given illegal aliens, I don't know how much money per day on a credit or debit card, or whatever he was doing. Pathetic if you people in New York City vote for this in this year of 2024. But let's get back to the story here. Um, he highlighted an example of how New York City has fallen in taking violent crime seriously. Piero recalled the case of Edward Johnson, who has a history of assaulting women who work in hospitals. Uh, let's see, let's grab my headphones here so we can listen in on this. Okay, so, um, all right, let's see here. In today's desensitized America, it's tragic 
that too many Americans either read or skip over stories like this one while thinking business as usual or similar thoughts. Oh, look, look, look at him right there. He looks, looks like evil, pure evil. Carving out of this, an illegal immigrant back on the streets of New York City after spending less than a year in jail for the latest in a series of arrests where he's accused of attacking female hospital workers dating all the way back to 2019. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This human vermin. This human vermin filth. Women? Women? I don't know if you're allowed to in hospitals, but you know what you need to do with your Second Amendment, right? And victims are speaking out about the dangers they face. Look right there. Look what he did to her. Every day working in the ER and having to treat people that are violent repeat offenders. Look at that picture right there. One of them's Chelsea Mora. That's her in the photo. She was attacked by this suspect. In Chelsea, I would be suing the hospital. January and Chelsea joins me now. Chelsea also suing New York State for letting this illegal alien into the country in the first place. Chelsea, walk us through what this guy did to you. This one incident on January 13 occurred when I was approaching the patient to do his vitals and he striked my face with his fist, um, leaving me with a corneal hematoma and PTSD after the incident. Why do you think this is happening to not just you, but others that are trying to just help people and do their jobs? It seems to be a severe problem in New York City now. I think these soft on crime laws that um, are being implemented aren't helping us. Like citizens of New York aren't helping healthcare staff um, in dealing with these types of criminals. This one particular gentleman has over 20 um, open cases and he's out on the streets abusing and assaulting people. Unbelievable. Are you listening to her? I'm curious if, if anyone's watching this who live in New York and you had a bad experience with something like that, let us know. The guy's name is Edward Johnson, illegal immigrant, but he's not alone to your point. What else have you and your... Look at him. Pure evil. ...colleagues experience, not just from the gentleman on our screen, but in your years working in the ER. Um, I think there's an internal push. I'm not sure what the agenda is, but usually when one of us does get assaulted, whether it's a doctor or a nurse, um, we're kind of discouraged to not press charges. Are you listening to this? They're discouraged to not press charges, to sweep it under the rug. When we actually do press charges and things go up to the court level, things are just dropped, charges are dropped and these criminals are back on the street. They maybe serve one or two months in jail and then they're back out doing the same thing. So it seems to be a reoccurring thing. How much of the blame do you place on the border crisis for these attacks? Um, a certain um, percentage is definitely should be blamed um, on the border crisis. I had no idea this particular patient's migration status. But um, it was pretty disheartening to find out that he was illegally here in this country and that he's been given so, given so many chances. Unbelievable, folks. Unreal. Unbelievable. Do you live in New York? I'm just curious to know because I didn't. Li I live in New York. What year was it? It was before 9/11 in 2001. I lived there for two years. And there was nothing like this going on in New York City. Nothing like this at all. Times has changed. Times has really changed. So anyway, I'm curious to know what you think about this phenomenon in New York. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I don't want to be a part of it. It's ridiculous. Really ridiculous. So anyway, let us know if um what do you, if you what what do you think the solution is to fixing this problem i mean i know what the solution is but it's not going to ha happen under joe biden that's for sure
So I'll catch you in the next one. Random thoughts, politics. <laughs>